Welcome back, DigiDees, to a brand new game here on the channel. A very first look at something that I've been seeing around on the Steam store for quite a while. Something that's been on my eye that I've just never had the chance to really go check out. A game called Hyper Light Drifter. It is something that released back in 2016, and it has overwhelmingly positive reviews in general. Just taking a look at it, listening to the soundtrack a little bit in the background. Honestly, this game fits exactly my aesthetic. It fits a lot of also the viewers aesthetic that seem we do a lot of roguelites. We do a lot of kind of venture type stuff here on the channel. So hey, I hope you guys are going to enjoy it right along with me. I have no idea what's about to happen. I've seen some of the trailers. It seems really cool. There's an overarching story that's going on to all of it. So hey, if you guys do end up liking the video, please, by all means, you have to let me know that you guys want to see more content on this or else I'm not going to be able to know, but we will be making a few videos on this. So why don't we go ahead and take a look at our very first look. Let's get started. A new game. Um, a more forgiving challenge. Nah, we got to do standard. Intended challenge level. All achievements unlockable. We want the achievements and get a game slot. Enter your name. Ooh, is it going to be my name? Um, it, it, uh, it, it did. Um, let's see here. Let's go. <laughs> as I stumble over my words. Let's go. DG. D. DG. D. Yeah, you know, this it's creative. Look, man, if you got a better if you got a better game name or a better character name, please comment down below because I'm not very good at collect selecting names at all. Select, please, and thank you. What's it have in store for us? I, I believe it's a story RPG at the same time of being a little bit of a roguelike, so there should be a story to it. But I'll stop talking and let you guys listen. Let's enjoy. Okay, um, there is a lot to unpack there right off the bat. So it did, there was no dialogue. It was very visually driven in terms of its story kind of 
a dialogue, I suppose. We appear to be sick and we are running away from some great menace, something that seems to be kind of chasing us and keeping us down. There is a kind of light rune that we're trying to get to that turned evil. And I mean, look, I, I suppose the start of the game is supposed to leave you with a lot of questions and hopefully we're gonna be able to find a few answers to some of them. So uh, the best way to get started is to just keep on going. So let's, oh, I'm already coughing up blood and just moving along. So I have some kind of illness like phenomia, phenomia. I can't pronounce any of it. Uh, something to do with the lungs. There are some plants in the way. Um, Okay, good. We have, oh, that is a nice striking animation. Can you see here just kind of smash down the button a little bit? Okay, let's see what's going on here. I have a kind of double reticule going on here as well with this thing on the screen. Can I? Oh, good. There is dashing. Oh, good. There is dashing. <laughs> yes. Now, you can't have a good roguelike kind of like RPG game without dashing. That is beautiful. This is a health pack Q. Beautiful. Oh, and does it not like go away? Can I use it repetitively? Not entirely certain, but I suppose we'll find out more. I, I am immediately blown away by the aesthetic of this game in general. Honestly, I believe it's visual storytelling. It has already got me very invested into whole E to interact. It's got me very invested into whatever it is that is trying to tell us. The art style is, is what I'm a big fan of like the pixel line kind of like art style, something that feels almost retro purposely, you know, something that it just it's whole I guess vibe, <laughs> you know, <laughs> without a better word for an oh, that soundtrack. I mean, you guys know I'm going to be downloading the soundtrack and trying to like get into the background of videos now, right? I mean, that, it's just, it's a given. Uh, what am I supposed to do here? I have something going on. He... Oh, I can go back up. <laughs> right on back up we go. No, no, we need to go back down the other way, please. Oh, wait a second. That's right. We have dashing. Okay, we can dash across the platforms. And you know what? I as well... I can already tell I'm going to really enjoy this game because I'm already geeking out about a lot of this. Again, the visuals, the art style, the music, but also the fact that it didn't tell me what to do. Like, I, I mean, I just kind of had to figure it out. It didn't exactly like, oh, dash across these. Oh, we got our first little enemy kind of looks goblin looking, dude. Little orc man. You know, little baby boy, little baby. Oh, God. Ah. <laughs> Never mind. I called him little baby boy and he got angry about it. Fine. Fair enough. Uh, okay, keep on moving along, I suppose. I, I keep on thinking like everything is something I need to look at. Like little lights on the ground. Maybe this, ah, this little box. Yes. What did this do? What, what did that do? I think it gave me more health. Oh, okay. Yeah, it gave me a med kit. I gotta say though, the camera does seem to kind of get all over the place a little bit sometimes. So I apologize if it's maybe gonna be a little bit sickening. Oh God, I'm <laughs> <laughs> and dead <laughs> um i see a little kind of pillar here uh it, i did see it say something about e while i was in the middle of the air all right let's see what happens uh no wait okay can i dash a second time while in midair oh e, e, hold e to bring up the hud okay how do i get a oh and i gotta hit the pillar see that's what i'm talking about it doesn't tell you these things it's not sitting there with a giant Press E to ping the HUD. Well, oh, okay, I say that now, but <laughs> it doesn't give you a giant thing of like, this is what you need to do to progress the game. You have to press this giant glowing button to understand what it is that you need to do. It, it just, it allows you to adventure. I mean, again, I'm, I'm geeking out way too much over this. We're not even out of like the first area. We haven't found out anything about the story yet. And I'm amazed. I, I can't believe, honestly, I've never had the chance to play this game. Like I've, I've seen it around. Okay, I like that. I've seen it around. I, I vicariously heard about it. Hold E to take items. Oh, what did I get? Looks like a little blaster of sorts. Okay. Oh God, I broke the skeleton. No. <laughs> is it maybe going to be right click? It is right click. Okay. There we go. We have limited energy though. It seems up there in the very top left. Can I like hold down button to charge it up? No, maybe it regenerates over to, oh God. I, I didn't even realize someone was hitting me. <laughs> Sitting here not paying attention. Try to look at the, try to look at the box. Okay, well, uh, what do we want to do here? So I want to shoot. Nice. So hit the pillar across. I'm already down to two health, though. I mean, <laughs> oh, we got another little spider boy chasing us. No, thank you. Please stay back. It seems as though we get a ammo back from taking out enemies. The ammo is not regenerating automatically. Flash enemies and objects to charge guns. Ah, okay. See, now, I mean, stuff like that, I guess, is a little bit kind of necessary for telling you how to operate the game, you know, because I'm sitting here wondering, like, how did I get my ammo back? And it seems kind of nice. Q to use heal. Oh, so I did have one extra. Okay, they're in the top left. Yeah, I had that one extra. Ooh, how am I supposed to get through this? So he wants me to break this block and then shoot, but I'm out of ammo. Ah! <laughs> it knew, it knew I was gonna be out of ammo, so it spawned another enemy. 
Okay, note to self, be more observant of your surroundings. Exactly like that, because apparently they like to sneak up on you, the little bastards, I tell you what. <laughs> Keep on moving through, dash across. Now we got several enemies and immediately I'm being struck by ranged attacks. Okay, they're already introducing ranged enemies into it. Very nice, very informative. I will take items, please, and also thank you. All right, that's right, I need a hold down E. Another healing, a little med kit. And is this something? Nope. And so I believe I hold Q to use the heal. Was that right again? Yeah, okay, Q's the one that did it. Um, I, I want an adventure though. Like my sense of adventure is all over the place. I just want to explore and look at everything. I mean, if you guys know a lot about this game, remember it has been out since 2016. So like eight years, this game has been out. Do we, is that a giant mech? Hello? Good sir? A anyone home? That is definitely a giant mech. I've played enough mech warrior mech online and into the breach and also a battle mech um there, there's a lot of mechs i didn't realize i played a lot of games with mechs in it um huh noted <laughs> look i mean it's hard it's hard to beat a giant robot the closest thing i have other with robots is probably hell divers too where you're fighting the robots which also i think the automatons just had like a huge pushback so that's kind of a nice development to the story see what's going on with that if you guys have not had the chance to check out hell divers 2 it's definitely been well worth the wait but my god, the atmosphere to this entire game is throwing me back because it's just the, the nice clash of colors of like the red on the outside, the outskirts, and all the different colors of like even like you got the yellow flowers now, a little bit of a nice hue of a glow going on. Got some birds. I was kind of under the impression that the world had like ended more or less. Like everything had been burned and like rusted away. So it seems there is still some wildlife left, still some good plants going on. A little birds flying away, little pixel birds. Come here, come here. Ow. <laughs> I was kind of wanted to see if I could like maybe chop up the bird before I got a chance to run away. <laughs> I will next bird I see, I will try to butcher the bird. What can I say? I, I have to find out. It's for science. All right, any more birds? Come on, show me a bird. Show me a bird. There's a bird. There's a bird. Ah, I, I shot right on top of it and it did nothing. Unfortunate. Zero out of ten game. I hate this game. And what's even the point anymore? No. <laughs> Let me hurt the birds. Little bastards always on my car. Get out of here. Ah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I am. I'm rolling over my pent up aggression of Canadian geese into regular birds. My bad. Canadian geese are the problem, not the other birds. Oh, God. OK, something's going on. I'm sick again. I'm coughing like a black kind of like miasma falling from the ground. If that is correct terminology. Oh, hey there, good sir. Um, I've been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> no. <laughs> He didn't take the deal. He's not, he didn't take the deal. I should have gone to Geico. They can reduce your rate by like 33%. I forget the I forget the commercial. Oh, hello there, new friend. Bonfire. Elder not Elder Scrolls. What is um uh uh Dark Souls style? Out in the middle of a forest. Very, very calming. The emotional roller coaster this has me going through. The uh, the initial intro had me bewildered and wanting excitement. And getting into the game, you found out a lot about the controls and the ambience of it, and only for it all to be taken away from you. And now here we are in a kind of a, what do you call it? A very chill kind of home environment of being taken care of. It's it's throwing me for a loop all over the place. I don't know how to feel about it. I, I am enjoying this. I'm liking this. I I like this game. I originally said maybe I was going to do like a few episodes on it. We might be doing more DigiDs, but again, if you guys have been liking the story and want to see more about it, feel free to comment down below and let me know, like the video, all that crap. Uh, we have four. What is this? What did that do? Oh, that gave me four ammo pack? Tab to view map. Oh, dear Lord. <laughs> oh, oh, dear Lord. So there is a rather large. Oh, dear Lord. It keeps on going. Um, wow. Huh. Right. This is a large game. Who knows? Maybe it'll just become a regular game on the channel if I enjoy it enough, which so far I have been enjoying it well enough. Okay, we got some stuff right in the center. It looks like south from the city. We got a giant ruin in the very center of the city. I think we came from the left -ish area. Kind of looks like it. A lot of it ruins, exploratory, archaeological type of environments and buildings and dilapidated kind of structures all around. Very nice. Let's go find out who that man was. Who was the strange man that picked me up and oh, look at me. Oh, I'm looking sexy. Mm, mm, work it, girl, like Vogue. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, flash it, flash it. Do it. Get the pictures. Beautiful. Ah, doing great. 
love it sexy beautiful absolutely immaculate you are absolutely um it should it's shad maxing right now it's somebody shoot me <laughs> please I, I i felt wrong saying those words hello there is a symbol to a icon and oh barely even have enough time to look at it what is this Okay, so yeah, there's a large symbol going to like a weird square symbol over to like a circuitry type of situation. This top one appears to be only having like one of this square triangle thing. I'm not entirely certain what this means, but I guarantee you because it is showing it to us now, it is going to be important in the future. Uh, E to accept, I guess. Did I accept? I guess so. All right, let's go take a step outside. Where is that strange man? I want to at least go take a talk to him before we ever end the episode. Let's take a look here. Where is he? Oh my God. This is immaculate. I am blown away. So first off, this looks like a teleporter pad of some sort. Never mind. It looks like a thing that opens up doors. <laughs> there I am. Or is that like maybe like unlock areas? Warp here anytime using the map. Okay, so it was a it was a teleporter. I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. I was right on the money from the start. Blackbird. I I knew it. I was trying to kill the birds. I bet that's a Canadian goose right there. I mean, it look it's a little small. It looks more like a crow than anything. But also, I do see a cute little puppy over there. And cute is maybe a weird word. It kind of looks like a hellhound. But um, please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. I just I let me pet you, bird. Bird, bird, let me pet the bird. Let me pet the bird. Ah, god damn it. Okay, dog, let me pet the dog. Dog, dog, I'm dashing after you, dog. Come here, come here, come here, doggo. No, he's going off map. Come back here. Where are you? Puppy, puppy. Oh, I guess we lost the puppy. But also I noticed here for a second, there is a guard. Can I attack you? You're not much of a talker, are you? I understood, but you hang on. How's the wife and kids? I mean, I know they're really rough around that age, but uh, you know, hey, is that gout clearing up for you? Ooh, no. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, man, keep on the treatment. But <laughs> have a good one, okay? <laughs> All right. See you around. Great. Awesome. I'm gonna go talk to this man over here who has a computer for a face. <laughs> what do you got, my good sir? Are you like a merchant of some sorts? No, you just other. You make other pretty sounds, and we got a cat man. Cat man. Uh, uh, an, an ocelot? An a uh, cottle? Um, not so much of a cat anymore now that I look at it. There are... Oh, now this has got to be like a shop of some sort, right? Okay. It is telling us information. So we can buy... Oh, that's what it's saying. We can use Q to heal ourselves as usual. And we have a bunch of weird options all around. I will press E to accept. I cannot accept. What do I need? There are a lot of questions. So, hey... Again, I don't want anything spoiled for me. I want to figure things out for myself. But, you know, hey, if, if the one thing I will say, maybe give me a hint as to what this is, unless you know it to be something much larger. Then don't. Please don't. <laughs> maybe I'm just kind of too dumb to figure things out. Well, I tell you what, DigiDs, I think I have had enough excitement for one episode. I know we've been going only for maybe like 16-ish minutes or so, but I think that we are about to embark on a whole adventure as soon as we start stepping out these doors, out those chambers, and into the wide open world. I'm going to try to explore around a little bit, see what's going on, and try to give you guys a better understanding for next time we have another episode so that we can all understand this a little bit better together and go on this adventure that is this game. That is, again, that is Hyper Light Drifter. It is amazing. The art style is blowing me away. The music is amazing. I am excited to play more of this. So thank you, DigiDs. I still don't really know how to do any of these outros because God knows I always ramble on for way too long. But there's one thing that I can always and shall always guarantee you. I'll be able to see you guys in the next video. Thank you and bye bye.